Hi there, it's Marlene Helema from ImageMaven.com and in this video blog post I'm going to teach you how to do a custom white balance. You can use this technique for your still photographs or your video. When you set up your custom white balance you're going to need some sort of a reference point and I use a white balance gray card. It's specifically meant for measuring white balance. You can also use this kind of a tool, it's sometimes known as an expo disc and this fits over the lens whereas the grey card you point the lens at it and you measure the light reflecting off of it which actually measures the colour. Okay, so it's not for exposure but it's for white balance. And you can set up a custom white balance for any indoor or outdoor lighting situation. So if you're uh, taking basketball photos of your kid at the school gym, you want to take a custom white balance of the light falling on the scene. So you would hold your reference card out and let the light fall on it, or you take this and put it over your lens and point it at the light source. So here's the thing, anytime the light changes, you need to redo your custom white balance. All right, so that's it. So read your manual and learn how to set up custom white balance for your particular camera. And I'm going to show you a couple of demos of how to do it with two of the cameras that I own. And yours will be very similar. Okay, I'm looking at the back of the Panasonic Lumix FZ200. It's a point and shoot camera. Right here I have my white balance control. I'm going to choose that and right now you can see that it's on auto white balance. So I'm going to go down to white balance custom white set one. Now I have my uh, white balance card here. I'm going to hold that in front of the lens. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to arrow over and I'm going to make sure that the card the square here that comes up, that's the area that it's going to measure on my white balance card. And there I choose uh, set menu and now the custom white balance, you can see right down there, is set up for this camera. If you use the disc, you have to basically do the same thing. You go through the same menu but instead of holding the card in front of the lens, you put this in front of the lens and you point it at the light source. Okay, let's look at another camera. Now this is a Canon 5D Mark II and to get custom white balance on this it works a little bit differently. The first thing you have to do is go into the white balance menu and in this camera it's on the top and you want to change it to custom. So that's the custom one right there. Okay, so now we have to take a reference image. So I'll just put the gray card in front There's my reference image. Then I'm going to go back into my menus, choose custom white balance, and find the image that you just used for your custom white balance setup. And in this case, it was this particular one. Choose that and hit OK. That image now becomes the reference file or the reference image for your custom white balance setting. So I hope you set up your custom white balance on your next photo shoot. All right, thanks for watching. It's Marlene Hilema from ImageMaven.com and do me a favor, please share it with your friends who need help with their white balance. Getting custom white balance will guarantee you get better color in your pictures. See you next time.